this is Katherine Davis, Independent Norwex Consultant. One of the things that I hear most frequently is that it's kind of confusing the different variety of cloths that are available for helping in the kitchen. So I figured that I would do um, a little demo to demonstrate how a few of the options for kitchen cleaning can work for you. And I quite conveniently have a very messy glass top stove here. Um, complete with stainless steel kettle there. So hopefully we can have a good look um, at how these different cloths can work to solve your different kitchen cleaning problems. I'm going to set the camera down over here so you can see while I work. There we go. Okay. There it is. All right, so first uh, least costly option will be the dishcloth here. It's a very simple white mesh. Uh, mine is not quite white, but that's because I use it for cleaning tasks. Um, it's quite large, so in order to use it, you simply fold it to a size that's comfortable in your hand, and all of my cloths are pre-moistened um, and it's really good at getting big particles up easily uh, and trapping them there in the cloth. So for jobs where you just need to pick up some big particles and do a little bit of scrubbing, that's a great option and I also use mine all the time for um, wiping down my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. It holds a lather very well, so it's a great tool for cleaning um, your dishes. This is the kitchen cloth in graphite, um, and it's not very large. It's a great size to have in your hand. It's very convenient to use for cleaning your kitchen. It's the same microfiber that is used in the Enviro cloths, but it has more of a ridged surface and that gives it a little bit more scrubbing power, but it also makes it so the food particles that you may pick up with it rinse out really easily. Um, with this cloth, I've picked up, you know, rice. I've picked up full size beans off of a toddler's high chair. It's very grabby and still very scrubby. So I'll just show that right here. And it also, let's see, that was just a really quick wipe with that. It got a lot up already, although we still have some stubborn, more baked on stuff that we'll get to in a moment. Um, but I also love this cloth a lot for cleaning up stainless. Let me make sure that that's, yep, you can see. Just one simple pass with it around this kettle. And this kettle, <laughs> it's been sitting unloved here for a little while, so it's got all kinds of oil baked onto it, but the kitchen cloth being a great multi-purpose cloth just cleans it up really, really easily and puts a very nice shine on it. So now it's ready to live back on the corner of my stove. And it won't be an eyesore with that oil dried on it any longer. I'm going to just use this to pick up some of the bigger particles and I've got some sauce dried onto the counter here. So I'm going to clean that up. We've been busy. And you see how much of those bigger particles, there's rice on there, and a little bit of it will drop off, but it holds it really well until you um, go and shake it off in the sink. I'm going to hold on to this because um, I want to show you something else with it in a moment. Um, the next option for really great scrubbing is the kitchen scrub cloth, and you can see that it's sort of a checkerboard pattern with microfiber and um, what these shiny little bits are actually more microfiber uh, 
fibers encased in sort of a plastic and that is what makes them really scrubby. So this is still our awesome microfiber and it goes to work on those dried on bits so well. that it brings that shine back to the glass top stove. With just water, that's all that's on this. And I'm gonna wipe down my Dutch oven here too. sorts of splatter on it as well. Coming along nicely. You can see it also grabs and holds those bigger particles pretty well. So you don't have to worry about them falling on the floor. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the camera and just show you we, look, the stove is looking pretty good. What happened? No. Oh no, is your toe okay? No. Okay, good. I'm glad. Alright, so the stove top is looking a whole lot better, but you can see it still has some of those stubborn areas where the grease is just baked on or charred on or whatever. So I'm going to show you what I, what you can do with your Norwex to get rid of those spots. So I have a few different options, just depending on um, what your price point is or what products you might already have. And this is an Enviro cloth. I'm just going to go over it one more time. This is a really finely woven, very dense cloth. And so it picks up a lot of, more of that small stuff. You can see it's already a little dirty, but this is a special one. This is our scrubby corner cloth. So in addition to being an awesome Enviro, it has the scrubby on the corner and also a little pocket on the side for you to put your hand in it. So you can use it plain, just as it is, and um, this is also already wet. I wet everything before my videos. Um, and it does a great job of scrubbing just on its own, but where it is really powerful is if you uh, put some of our cleaning paste on it. Got the cleaning paste over here, and I'm just wiping some up with the scrubby corner cloth. And it just eliminates those dried on, baked on, grimy bits with just three ingredients. A cleaning paste is composed of marble flour, traces of coconut oil, and natural soap. So it's a very, very, very eco-friendly option, especially when used with just water. So that's, and you can see how much it got up there, and the Enviro picked quite a bit of it up also while I was scrubbing with it. And we'll... Give it a little wipe here. Oh, it's beautiful on that half. I want to show you, you can also use uh, the cleaning paste with the kitchen cloth. And then I'll do, there's a, you know that edge that you get around the burners that is baked on there so with a cleaning paste 
and the kitchen cloth it just comes right up it's so easy you don't have to put a whole bunch of muscle into it you don't have to scrub and scrub for ages and ages it just comes up I will help you in a moment, baby, but Mommy's working right now. Do you want to get up in the carrier and help? Okay, just one moment. If you guys don't mind waiting, I have to get my demo assistant. Happy and up. Be just a moment. Do you see how pretty our stove is, Valerie? Yeah, we're talking to our friends. Tell them about our claws. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to tell them? Do you like to use the claws? Yeah. Okay. Wash claws? Yeah. Yep. These are our very special wash claws. Hey. Yeah. Ooh, you're pretty low. All right. Sorry about that. Um, but so now I have one half of my stove that is very shiny and pretty and has shown you two different options for getting the shininess back on your stove. My nest. And no my nest. no no more nuts, baby. And the last combination that I'm gonna show you is the kitchen scrub cloth with the cleaning paste and I'll give you another quick before and after. Let me dry this so when the camera's on it, you can see it really nicely and easily. Hey. How shiny and bright it is. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. hey. All right, so that's the side that I just cleaned. And this is the one that still needs some work. I'm going to get at it. Give it baby. another preliminary scrub here and then baby baby what the cleaning paste is a solid so it only takes a very little bit to um, be very effective at cleaning it just lasts for ages and ages and ages all right so my burner here is wet I have my kitchen scrub cloth with cleaning paste on it and wow it just makes such quick work of it you can hardly believe it the kitchen scrub cloth on its own is very effective but the cleaning paste just takes it to a whole other level See how fast and easy that is. Just gonna get a tiny little bit more paste here. Peach yogurt? Mm -hmm. I don't think you're gonna have any peach yogurt today, baby. You ate your yogurt earlier. And that's the other really wonderful thing about all of our Norwex products. You don't have to worry about using them around your child. You don't have to worry about picking them up after you've been cleaning there's nothing on your hands or in the air that you wouldn't want them exposed to that I used to use on this stove. All right, we'll give it another wipe with the Enviro and then I'll dry with the kitchen towel there. Five. Yeah. Five. Mm-hmm. Five. Five? Yeah. Five what? This five. Oh, are you holding up five fingers on your hand? And here is the grand finish. So beautiful. 
Thank you, Norway.